a cashew farmer in Ghana, a furniture maker in Ukraine, a chemical producer in Colombia. What do they all have in common? They all want to trade across borders. But complying with international standards can be a real challenge, especially for small and medium-sized enterprises in developing countries. This can often mean missed opportunities to trade, and with it, missed chances to boost your industrial sectors, strengthen your economy, and reduce poverty. That's why it's so important to enhance a country's quality infrastructure system, which is the combination of initiatives, institutions, organizations, activities, and people that help ensure products and services meet the requirements of customers and are safe for consumption and use. That can mean looking at everything, from standards which define the requirements a product must meet, to the weights and measures you use, to testing product safety. Setting up a quality infrastructure system is one of the most practical steps a developing nation can take. It can have positive impacts on a wide range of areas, including trade competitiveness, food safety, public health, the efficient use of natural and human resources, the environment, and climate change. Quite simply, improving the quality infrastructure can also improve lives. That's where the Global Quality and Standards Program comes in, or GQSP for short. The GQSP is the new global approach developed by the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, UNIDO, and the Government of Switzerland through its State Secretariat for Economic Affairs, SECO. The GQSP helps countries set up or improve their quality infrastructure systems. It draws on UNIDO and SECO's valuable expertise, as well as best practice from their long and successful experience of working together. But the new approach goes further than before to achieve greater impact. This is done by identifying quality-related challenges and making targeted interventions at every single stage of the value chain. It aims not only to boost the competitiveness of specific sectors in those countries, from coffee to cashews, but also to align with each country's priorities. It's an approach that successfully spans across the private sector and public institutions through three key pillars of activity. First, to work with partners to enhance the institutions that provide quality infrastructure, including testing of products. Second, to support producers at every stage of the value chain to enhance their production and helping them to access the services that can help them improve compliance. And third, to raise awareness and build a strong culture that establishes quality as a basis for sustainable economic growth. Today, we can see powerful examples of the GQSP helping specific sectors, particularly those with small farmers and producers, meet international standards and export right around the world. In Colombia, it's helping to create an enabling environment for chemical exporters by facilitating the public-private dialogue. In Peru, it's helping the coffee and cocoa producers upgrade their capacity in Costa Rica, it's supporting small producers by enhancing the traceability of their meat products. In Ghana, it's boosting capacity for small producers of cashew, cocoa, and oil palm and applying blockchain technology for traceability. In South Africa, it's building on experience shared from Colombia to harmonize requirements for the export of essential and vegetable oils designed for food, health, and cosmetic products. In Kyrgyzstan, it's helping small fruit farmers prove their products are safe. In Ukraine, it's boosting the institutional infrastructure for the export of wood and processed wood products. In Georgia, it's improving testing for fruit and vegetables against EU market requirements. In Indonesia, it's helping people in fisheries and aquaculture to get their produce certified. And in Vietnam, it's supporting testing services for the mango industry. All in all, today we can say that many more sectors and many more countries are able to export because of the GQSP. But the Global Quality and Standards Program is about so much more than what we do in each country. It's also about working on a global level to share our knowledge, both from our world-class research and our extensive experience of working around the world. We do this through an interactive online platform. The platform provides news, information, and training materials for a broad range of stakeholders. Through this, we believe our work can be more than the sum of its parts. It can be a global public good that shapes the future of technical assistance in the field of quality and standards for years to come. There can be no doubt, the GQSP offers a powerful tool for sustainable development, from the small farmer working to support her family, to the national government seeking to achieve its ambitious sustainable development goals. Because an enhanced quality infrastructure has the potential to change countless lives around the world, for the better.